Okay, guys, these congruence theorems have to do uh, specifically for right triangles. So the SAS, ASA, SSS, and the AAS congruence theorems apply to all triangles. But these four that I'm about to give you now only apply to right triangles. That is triangles that have a right angle. So let's go ahead and get started here. All right, before we can start on these, you got to know the parts of a right triangle. So here's a right triangle here. And it's denoted because we have a right angle. Okay. Across from the right angle is what we call the hypotenuse. The hypotenuse is always the longest side. It is the side that is across from the right angle. The other two sides are simply just called legs. Okay, so understanding what is a leg and what is the hypotenuse. The legs actually make up the right angle, and the hypotenuse is the longest side across from the right angle. Right. So now let's get to the congruence theorems. The congruence theorems are going to be based on H's and L's or hypotenuse and legs. All right. The first one is called HA or what I'm going to call HA, hypotenuse angle. All right. If, the, if you have the hypotenuse and one of the non-right angles congruent, then you can say the triangles are congruent automatically. So we're only naming two pieces, but remember, we're given that we have the right angle, and the right angles are always congruent because they always measure 90 degrees. So here's an example here, and oh, I just threw this in here, that HA is really AAS, and let me show you why. Because if we go angle, the right angle, angle, side, then we have AAS, okay? But if you're looking at the right triangle only, and you have the hypotenuse, the hypotenuse is the longest side, and you have an angle that is not the right angle. So here's an angle that's not the right angle. So by hypotenuse angle, we can say the congruence theorem, triangle RST is congruent to triangle WVU by the HA theorem. Okay, let's keep going. All right, now we have LA. LA stands for leg angle. Leg angle means that you're going to be given one of the legs and an angle that's not the right angle, and you're going to be given that those parts are congruent. So if you have a leg and one of the non-right angles congruent, then you can say that both triangles are congruent. Okay, here's an example here. We have the leg. How do I know it's a leg? Because it's one of the sides that makes up the right angle. Have leg congruent to another leg, and they have a non-right angle. It's not the right angle here. E is not the right angle, and G is not the right angle. So, by leg angle, I can say that the two triangles are congruent. Triangle DEF is congruent to triangle IGH by the LA theorem. Now, it's important to understand here that LA is really just ASA. If you look and count, the right angle is one of the congruent pairs of angles, which all right angles are congruent. So we have angle, side, angle. We have angle, side, angle. So that's that's just proving why LA works. All right, hypotenuse leg. This is the one that kind of confuses people because the correspondence of uh, what it matches up with in three letters is, is not true. But in this case, it is true. Hypotenuse leg. Hypotenuse leg means that you have the hypotenuse. You have the longest side. And you also have one of the legs congruent. If you have this information, then you could say that the angles, that the triangles are congruent. So here's an example here. We have the hypotenuse LN is congruent to the hypotenuse OQ. And then we have one of the legs. Remember the legs help make up the right angle. So LM is congruent to OP. So we have hypotenuse leg, hypotenuse leg. So we make the congruent statement. Triangle LMN is congruent to triangle OPQ. Now, if we were to try to translate this into sides and angles, we get the bad word. We get angle, side, side, which is not a good thing. HL is really the bad word. This is the only case in, when the, in which the bad word works. Um, this is the only exception. There's proofs out there if you want to go check those out. But for right angle purposes, for right triangles, we understand that hypotenuse leg does work, so we're going to accept it. All right, the last one is leg-leg. Leg-leg is just 
exactly what it means. It means that if you have both legs congruent, then the right triangles are congruent automatically. So here we are. We have leg JL congruent to leg ON. Leg KL is congruent to leg MN. And we can make the congruence theorem statement. Triangle JKL is congruent to triangle OMN by the LL theorem. And if you look really closely, you see you have side, angle, side, side, angle, side. So really LL is just another way of saying SAS. Okay, so on the previous video, I told you what worked and then I told you what does not work. Well, let me tell you what doesn't work here. And combinations of two, if we have uh, HA, LA, HL, and LL, or what I like to say is HA, LA, HL, LL kind of an easy pattern of, of saying this out loud so that you can kind of hear it and it's easy to remember. So what doesn't work? Well, combinations of H and L and A, well, the only one that doesn't work is double A or batteries. Again, the battery thing pops up. Angle, angle does not, it does not work. So strike it off the list. So just to review, we have Ha, La, HL, LL. H A L A H L L L no double A no batteries.